Good morning, guys. We are headed over. Where are we going, Vine? Uh, the Star Eco Station. We're going to go to the Star Eco Station, and we also have a couple errands to run, and I don't know. What else are we doing? What's the Star Eco Station? What? <laughs> the Star Eco Station is a exotic wildlife rescue and... I guess on weekends you can tour it and see the animals and touch the animals and stuff like that and that sounds right up Brendan's alley, right buddy? Yeah. <laughs> We've been this way before, we just don't go this way very much. I know I've been this way a few times by myself. <laughs> well, I did it. Uh, okay, well, I'm sure you've been this way once or twice. No, I didn't. There's the park up here. There's a park that we went to a few times. Yes, we are. Now get out. <laughs> this intersection is the Star Eco Station. <laughs> Where are we? The Star Eco Station. Yeah. All right, we are in the lines. <laughs> I find sometimes it's actually harder to, to park when the, the whole street is open. Like when you have to parallel park, you know exactly where your space is and you just pull into it. But when the whole street is open, you kind of just roll up and stop and then you're like, oh crap, did I roll over the lines? Am I in the red? And then you have to get out and check and yeah, anyway. Oh, there you are. I didn't even see you. Oh, no? Yeah, I didn't see you. Okay, oh, fine. But I found you. All right, we don't know where the entrance is to this building. It's just like a big building, but there's like no doors. So Kevin's running around the corner to see if he can find an entrance. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot, oh, there's an entire lot. Look at all these cactus bumps. So there's a parking lot here. We parked on the street, we didn't realize. Straight behind the building. All right. Don't touch that one because that's the wall. Okay, let's go on in. Okay. Look at these little fruit up there. Oh, there's little fruits, little like that's coconuts that's or something. Look at these fruits up there. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> I wonder what those are. Well, I think they're like coconuts, maybe. Oh, there's a lot of little kids in here. Look at these giant fish. Yeah. Oh, those are on the kill. No, these are called pakus. <laughs> Shells. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a huge one there. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I got you a picture of that. Oh, that's cool! Wow! Look at his tail! Ooh. Wow! How fast she is! Whoa, she is fast! She's very fast, huh? And she's great. I didn't know the cats were that fast. Yeah, that's, a, that's a attached to a snake. It's attached to a snake, yeah. You want to see a giant iguana? Look at him. Did you get a chance to hold it? Do you want to pet him with one finger? Go ahead, Buck. Do you want to hold it? You want to hold it? All right. There's another one in there. These are cool, huh? Yeah, bamboo's a type of grass, but it's real hard. It feels more like wood, huh? Yeah. All right, so we just got done with, what's it called? Eco? Star Eco Station. Star Eco Station. Um, I think it was really cool. There was a lot of 
different animals there and there's a lot more people there than I thought. It was I a lot. It was packed. Yeah, it was pretty packed. We weren't sure because they take tours and it's, it's not a huge place. So we just had no idea like how crowded it was going to be. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of people there. Um, but Brendan had a good time. He, what, what did you get to pet, bub? You pet a snake and a turtle and you saw cockroaches. <laughs> so we are done with that and we're headed down the street to Office Depot, Office Max, one of the office stores because we need to get a calendar like a big giant wall calendar that we can put all of our many, many activities on. Because <laughs> uh, the other day when we totally were a month off on Brendan's... <laughs> My fault! <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's fault. On uh, Brendan's parent-teacher conference, um, we thought, you know what? We're overdue for a calendar. And it's March. And it's March. <laughs> It only took us two months to figure out we need a calendar. On the plus side, since it is already March, hopefully the calendars will be on sale. Because really, who buys calendars in March? Besides us. <laughs> One disadvantage to looking for calendars in March is the section is pretty grim. There's not that much here. Are they out? They're not out, but uh, you might be limited to ones with flowers or oh. there's not a whole lot to choose from. Well, I, don't, I mean, they have a lot of options. They have pink flowers. <laughs> they have other pink flowers. <laughs> a couple flowers, butterflies. And they're not on sale, <laughs> which you they're think they would on. be. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is like epic fail here. We gave up on Office Max because everything was expensive, like nothing was on sale, even though it's March. We just assumed all the calendars would be on sale, but I guess Kevin's theory is that uh, anyone desperate enough to buy a calendar <laughs> in March will pay full price for it. Even the most simplistic, like paper thin, I mean it's literally paper, you know, it's not even like a nice glossy, it's not even like a nice glossy calendar, but like a a complete bare bones piece of paper with numbers on it was like I don't know, 14 15 dollars i was like we could make our own calendar <laughs> let's not do that can i see the flies can i see the fetus fly traps eat the flies again we went next door to uh sprouts to pick up a couple things and outside they had venus fly traps of which we didn't get a shot of um, yeah. <laughs> but outside they, had venus, us, they were there yeah, but outside they had venus fly traps and we were having a debate on whether or not Venus flytraps close very slowly on a fly lens or if it's snapshot. Krista's of the mindset that they close very slowly to get the flies, whereas I'm of the mindset they snapshot very quickly. Watch how it kills oh. so fast. Oh, okay, so this, all right, this is well, the watch, fly. Watch, watch how it goes so fast. It steps on a little thing and that's how the plant knows that it's there. It's so fast! I told you. You were right! Hey, I thought I told you. Oh. <laughs> it's so rare that I'm correct. Yeah. <laughs> that I gotta take advantage of it and gloat. It's so rare that you're correct that I'm, I would more likely believe him. <laughs> no, it's true. No, I'm kidding. Somehow I was always under the impression that I never thought a plant could actually close that quickly. I thought it actually closed slowly and the little things at the top would just like, instead of like, making like a jerky motion scaring the fly which is very very slowly just kind of do this and then the fly would be trapped and then the plant could just close like i thought that's how you would catch a fly slowly i had heard but, rumors of like if you want to smash a fly don't try to smash it really fast but go really slow yeah because like, it doesn't realize that but that never works either it never works, <laughs> it never works. It never works. It never works. I, I, I like the fly you like the flies yeah i just never realized a fly trap was that fast, but it does have the things at the top. So I think if, if it doesn't have to, you know, the, the things at the top are already like this, so it doesn't have to move very much for the fly to actually get trapped. So right. anyway. That was so. from a, a documentary special from BBC called Venus Flytraps, Jaws of Death. Jaws of Death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not to be confused with the Jaws of Life. Right. So did you enjoy the Star Eco Station? Yeah. Yeah, what was your favorite animal there? Remember? Uh, snakey. The snakes. So you saw some great big snakes, huh? Yeah. So yeah, the snakes were really cool because they were there, there was there were those huge snakes, right? Yeah, but I saw a dangerous one. A dangerous one? Yeah. There was one they they had a little bit of venom. They didn't take that one out. They said there was one venomous snake that they had. I saw 
I heard that. You heard, yeah, yeah. They did talk about that. Of course, they didn't bring that up for the kids, so. There were some sea creatures, too. There were some sea creatures, yes. There was those big paku fish. And a puffer fish. And puffer fish. And what sea else? Sea horses. Oh, were there seahorses? Yeah, I heard them. Oh, I missed those somehow. So, well, that's pretty good. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Can you say bye? There were snapping turtles too. <laughs> there were snapping turtles too. Snappy, snappy turtles. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to go back.